Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Ruth Marquise, and I'm here getting ready for settlement this morning. Hopefully, we'll be able to show you a little bit of that later. And I gotta continue fixing this quaff I got going on. <laughs> but um, um, today I want to talk about trying harder. You need to try harder. All right. So <laughs> I feel like um just the many things that you feel like you've already done you've already accomplished and you feel like why haven't life given me any more right you don't have any more because you didn't try any harder <laughs> so if you try harder then things will work out for you the way they need to work out for you try harder put your good morning Vanetta. put your all in give it your all it's like whatever you put into it is a saying that whatever you put into it is what you will get out of it you don't need a lot to start things. Good morning, George. You don't need a lot. You need momentum. You need your time, your effort, and you need to try harder. For me right now, I'm working on my concentration. I know it sounds real stupid, but it kind of, I went back to my roots because I'm like, mm, I know that what got me here won't get me there. That's the book, right? So I was like, what can I change? What can I keep doing, right? Good morning. So I was just like, well, the power of concentration helped me. Tracking my time helped me. So that's what I'm doing. I wrote down my time and the things that I had to do. And um, tracking my time is something I'm doing. Going back to my planner is something I do it, I'm do it. i doing. Um, keeping a schedule. So now I'm like, okay, I got to schedule my day from the beginning and to the end. Um, yeah, that's the things that I have to do. So, yeah, so th these are the things that help me get where, you know, yes, sounds very productive. And it's like people want money, but you don't want to be productive. You got to be productive in order to make more money. Yes, you have a job, but if you want above and beyond the money at your job, then you have to do above and beyond what, you know, is required from just to keep your life at a minimum. If you want to go higher, take your efforts higher. So that's why I say try harder. So, um, like I said, going back to scheduling my time, seeing what productive things are that are not productive, if it's a conversation, if it's negativity, whatever it is, do that. I, I'm listening to this boring thing. I, if, look it up online. It's called The Power of Concentration and put the audio book. And it talks about how because our mind is weak, it can't stay on something for a long time or switch off of something for a long time. If you ever notice, you'd be like, yeah, I'm so concentrated, I'm stuck, I'm locked in, and all that stuff, and it's just like, but I can't stop. That's weak-minded too. You gotta be able to start and stop at the, at the right time, because if you have a schedule to keep and you can't stop what you're doing, you're going to be late. You're not gonna be able to plan your life. And um, something was said today was like, um, uh, concentration can make like a, 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 a small person do big things and also can make a big person do small things if they lack it. If you lack concentration, you're not at your full potential because you're not trying hard enough, you know? And I just feel like we our bodies naturally tell us to chill, relax, you're doing too much. But when you need to amp it up, you need to like do more, try more. Do, you know, think of a plan of what you need to work on and work on it. So that's that's really what you got to do. So in the middle of like things that I used to hate doing, uh, when that when you that turns into money, you just start saying, you know what? If I want the money, then I'll do the things that I hate doing. And that matter of fact, I'm gonna stop hating it. I'm gonna go to dislike. <laughs> I might dislike it. I'm gonna still do it. And after a while, that turns into I like it. After I like it, it's gonna turn into I love it. After I love it, you know, it's gonna turn into the second nature. So these are the things like I have clients that come to me. I'm a real estate agent and I have to find them the most impossible house. And you know what I realized? I got to get used to it because they all are a puzzle. But there is a house. If you have that belief that there's a house for everybody, then you just be like, you know what? This challenge, I can do it because we always want easy. Easy comes natural. But it's so much more rewarding when you do something challenging and you actually get it done. So that's what I'm saying. Challenge yourself. Like you are your own worst enemy because you're the one that's so hard on yourself and, and tell yourself, oh, you ain't doing good. You ain't do enough today. That's why you're not where you want to be. You say these negative things, but what about the positive things that you need to do? It sound bubblegum. It sound cliche. It sound corny, but do do those things. Do the things. It's called mastering the mundane. I swear to you, things I learned at 18, I'm still using today. I ain't going to tell you how old I am. <laughs> I'm going to tell you when my birthday is, right? But I'm not going to tell you when 
what I, how old I am. So it's just mastering the mundane. That's how you reach success because it's not doing 500 things well. It's doing five things all the time, over and over, repetitively, until you have mastered it, until you have mastered this part. So if you're failing, I was listening to a lot, a lot of stuff and they talk about failure and not being afraid, afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fail at something. And I'm just like... Give me three years, you know, give me three years at whatever. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to come at it from different angles. And I promise you, I'm going to make all them angles work while the time is over with. But I, it comes from effort. It comes from stretching, stretching. You can't stretch in 10 different ways all the time, but you can stretch one way a month ten for 10 months. These are things that you, like, we're not seeing that little things add up to big things. I'm listening to a track and it was like, look, um, cause I listen to a lot of positive things that goes in my mind because I realize naturally negative thoughts go in. In the morning, you're like, why I gotta get up? Why oh, I gotta do this? I gotta get three kids up. I gotta do this and that. And I'm just like, you know, I need some positivity to wake up. It was so funny cause I started listening to the motivational stuff when I'm in the bed and my daughter jumped up at the same time as me today. She's like, uh-uh, no mom, you can't copy off of me. I'm like, we jumped up at five something together and that was cool. So it's just like those things are starting to become habits and the habits that you form are going to affect the people around you. So once they see you doing better, they're going to do better. Like you become a positive force in everybody's life. Nobody wants to sit here and listen to tapes or audio tapes or read books or learn or grow. But those are the reason why you're not where you want to be. If you are where you want to be, good for you. How do you get to the next place? How do you get to the next level? Just roll off the little successes and make them bigger ones so that's just the way you do it is trying harder i don't want to call every single day i'm like i got people for that but i gotta do it i gotta make the calls i gotta go back you gotta humble yourself and go back to the beginning because guess what you would never have to go back to the beginning if you made it to the level where you didn't have to do it in anymore if you feel like oh i have to struggle every sale i get for my business right it's because you never broke through to that part where the sales happen with or without you. And until then happens, you have to try harder. You have to give your all. You have to give nothing. Yesterday I had a day where I worked, I think I started at 9 and I was on time. I was like, yes, because I've been showing at 9 o'clock, so it's just kind of messing up my day. Good morning. And so, yes, try the daily schedule and complete most items in it. I'm telling you, when you start crossing that stuff out, I'm starting to see the comments now. Thank you. Where the likes at? Where the hearts at? Right? Um, when you start doing that schedule, man, you, you just holding yourself accountable. So that's awesome. Yeah. So I like. I think I finished at seven. At seven, I couldn't take no more. I was like, I gotta go. I'm tired. <laughs> like, and then I still had one more thing to do. So it was like, are you gonna do this one more thing? Because if you don't do this one more thing, it's gonna mess up your whole weekend. Because you know you messed up your your whole settlement. You messed up your payday. Thank you guys. Thanks. Keep them coming. Is this helping you? Is any of this giving you value? If you are getting value, I want to see some likes and some hearts. Yeah, man, like these are the things that we got to do, man, until you get there. And I, you know what? I realized I said, look, I'm doing this for my mama. I'm doing it for, you know, my family. I'm doing it for my kids. If I want, if it's up to me, I stay in the bed. But if it's up to them, like if, if it's up to, like if it was just on me, if it was just me being hurt, by my lack of motivation or my lack of work ethic, then I would just take the L for myself. But because it's for my babies, because it's for my aging parents, because it's for my family, I have to keep going. This is helping me a lot. Thank you. I hope so. I have to keep going. I have to keep doing these videos. Knowing that it helps somebody every day, I'm going to keep doing it. Even when I think those negative thoughts like, oh, nobody's watching, nobody cares, nobody's listening and all that. I'm like, no, I know that it helps because it helped me when I couldn't do it, when I was feeling down and, and, and I feel like I'm stuck, I'm doing okay, but I could do way better. I was at a job, y'all. Oh, my gosh. I try everything to work. I, I try 80 hours a week y'all 80 hours a week and I just kept working I kept I knew the number I wanted to hit I was like yes I got 80 hours but this still is not the goal this is not what success looks like for me and it's draining my body and I was like you know what I'm gonna give it up I'm gonna start again and I'm gonna build something that's going to give me a bigger paycheck I tell you that the 90 days 
less than 90 days after I made that decision or I, I gradually made it because some people are crazy and they just leave all quick. I used to do that all the time. <laughs> but no. Um, after I make the real decision, like, listen, this is it. I, I trust God. I'm moving forward. Then things are changing. Things are going to go your way. You got to make a smart decision. You got to invest in people. You got to invest in yourself. If you can't do something, find out who can help me do this. How much I got to really pay you, right? How much I have to do? What do I have to do to get this going? And if I see this progressing, then I'm going to invest some more. And that's all you got to do. Just figure out what path goes for you. I don't want to tell you real estate is the pathway for you. Or, you know, MLM is the right path for you. Whatever your path is, do your own thing. If you want to start your own clothing company, if you want to start your own hair care products, if you want to start your own tie company, if you want to start your own app, whatever business idea you have, thoughts are things, y'all. It makes you money. Your creativity makes you money. I said I do real estate, but I will not do it the old school way. I said, I'm a, everybody told me it wasn't going to work. My, oh, we're not going to do online marketing. And, and no, I said my dream is bringing online marketing to real estate. And guess what happened? It worked for me. Did it take, did it work overnight? No. But once I saw one little thing work, I kept working it and working it and working it and making it like it's no brainer. I used to be scared to ask for the email and the phone number. Now I expect it. I'm like, well, if you want a house, then you better give it to me. If you want a house, then you're going to have to get your credit ran. Are we, are we going to have to have that social security number now? I mean, I have the goods now. So you have to build your confidence. You have to take risk. You have to become the person that you see being. You have to dress yourself like a success. There's plenty of times I have no money, but my makeup was done. My hair was done. I was ready to work. I was dressed. Get up, dress for success. Get up and work hard.